Hey, what's up, you guys? Time is back with another Linsen's video. Today, we have a fragrance from Paris Corner, the North Stag lineup. But before we get into that, just want to say thank you, guys. Again, it is an honor to be playing on one of those electronic devices, whether it's that cell phone, that tablet, that laptop, that Macintosh, that brand new big screen TV. When you watch me at home, at work, on a plane, a train, an automobile, maybe you're watching me right now doing some kind of man chore. However and wherever you're watching me, it is an honor if you guys are new to this channel. You like what you see, hit the subscribe button, comment, and like. Likes are very important. And likes are so important. Man, you guys remember, I used to do the videos in front of my collection. And the thing was is that I needed one more like kind of bookcase or something like that or some kind of storage unit to make this whole wall look more uh, full, you know, last time I used to have the videos where it's like just two bookcases and then you've seen white walls over here, white walls over here, but now we got another one right here and now it looks like I'm just surrounded by fragrance and, uh, man, uh, such a, uh, amazing look to the fragrance collection. If you, uh, want to take a look at it, maybe we can do a, uh, a fragrance live video or something like that. You guys can just point to something that you see and then we can discuss it. Who knows? We'll do something, but Anyways, again, thank you guys for being here. So, with that being said, let's finally get into this. So, Paris Corner. You guys know Paris Corner pretty much has a ton of lineups. They got Amir. They got um, uh, North Stag. They have, I think they're part of Pandora Sense too. I don't know, but they have just a lot of different lineups. And this one is called North Stag. Now, I know you guys like want to take off all the plastic and stuff like that. But... I kind of had a whole lot of unopened fragrances and I decided to open them all up today and I decided to keep the boxes so now that when I do these little reviews, I'll have some kind of box, but the plastic will already be gone. So I haven't smelt these yet, okay? I just wanted to kind of finish the collection, make it look more presentable when I'm doing these videos. But anyways, here we go. North Stag, this one is called Hewitt the Eighth. Hewitt the Eighth. This is an extract their parfum 100 ml 3.4 ounce now man it's been a while since i bought this and honestly i forgot where the hell i got it from but um i'll look around and see if i can find the best priced uh variant for you if this is any good so right in the back again paris corner okay and then here we go north stag hewitt the eighth extract their parfum okay open it up and boom, look at that. Opens up like that little, uh, like a damn alligator's mouth. Look at that. Yum, 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 yum. Anyways, here we go. Cool thing is they give you a little note breakdown right here. Let's see what this one says right here. Now, this, the top basically just describes this North Stag lineup pretty much. But then Hewitt the Eighth, top notes are pink pepper, bergamot, lavender, and grapefruit. Heart notes, we got saffron, cinnamon, Black pepper, and at the base, we got some tobacco, vanilla, leather, and vetiver. So, you know, kind of got that freshness up at the top with that bergamot, grapefruit, pink pepper, lavender. Then at the heart and at the base, we got the spicy notes, okay? So, spicy, dark notes. So, kind of curious in how this fragrance will go, okay? Here is the bottle, which is very, very nice. Look at that bottle. Nice and thick glass. You got the stick bottom too, just in case you were to drop that. You got all this protection right here before it gets to that juice. Look at the top of the cap, which is very nice. That North Stag has got that buck up at the top, almost like that Mason of Lumber buck. This one looks a little bit more fierce though than the Mason of Lumber. So I don't know, maybe this one's packing more of a punch. Cap has actually got a nice little weight to it. It's plastic, but it's definitely nice and weighted. So there you go. There goes that North Stag. There goes the buck right there as well. So, Hewitt the Eighth. Let's go. Still got something over here. Damn finger. By the way, any of you guys who are concerned about the finger, honestly, it was so hard keeping that damn cast on. I decided to just take it off and just pray that the finger kind of stays put. Okay, so, wow. Just, anyways, just taking off that cap. 
kind of getting almost a uh, like a spice bomb uh, thing going on here. Okay, now again, spice bomb. The original may be a little outdated, but it's still just a beautiful overall. Kind of got that sweet powdery tobacco scent. And honestly, there are a few hotels or casinos that I've been to that they have this similar scent DNA up in the air. And when I smell it, I'm like, man, is someone wearing some spice bomb? But, you know, I actually go to the people up front and I'm like, man, what the hell is this? What is that smell in the casino? And then they tell me some stuff that I forget about. But anyways, let's go. Nice, beautiful atomizer. Nice wide distribution. So here we go. Yeah, I'm definitely getting a spice bomb. And, you know, you guys know that I love the Belcam's uh, Volatile, which is a spice bomb clone as well. Although that one is cheap, it's like $8. Very good for spice bomb, okay? This one already in the air smells like it has higher quality. And that's not to say anything special because obviously it's a $50 fragrance compared to an $8 fragrance. So. If you need a higher quality spice bomb, you don't want to spend the spice bomb money already, that's sometimes $80, $100, well, you can go grab this, and I'll leave the description down below, but, oh, so that's kind of cool, is that you kind of get this fruity, fruity, fresh, citrusy smell on the skin, but in the air, you definitely get this beautiful, again, beautiful spice bomb scent in the air, okay? If anyone knows of Spice Bomb, you know, and honestly, there are not that many people that know about Spice Bomb, okay? Uh, you know, whenever I smell, you know, Savage in the air, I can already pinpoint what someone's wearing, okay? But there have been plenty of people when I've worn Spice Bomb, people are like, man, what are you wearing? It smells good. Not that many people know what Spice Bomb is, not the average joke. You know, maybe some people might know, but a lot of people don't know, but... Spice Bomb is a very unique, very sexy, very, again, powdery, sweet, nice and luscious fragrance. And the cool thing with this fragrance is, is that you get that fresh, fruity, almost citrusy smell here. But then in the air, you get all that Spice Bomb goodness, which is very nice. And again, Spice Bomb may be a little outdated for most people. Again, the original but again, man, whenever you wear a Spice Bomb out in a nice cold weather, it just does the damn job, okay? It smells amazing. You know what I'm talking about. You guys you guys have Spice Bomb. You know exactly what I'm talking about, but... Ooh. So definitely getting a nice bit of spice, okay? Spice, citrusy, kind of fresh from that pink pepper. Pink pepper kind of gives it that fruity, fresh... Uh, smell okay guys don't get mistaken with a uh, regular black pepper that gives that that kind of that dark spiciness to it this is almost like a fruity spice okay fruity spicy citrusy which is very nice oh lavender starting to creep up that gives it again that nice freshness that fresh almost when you smell it on the skin almost barbershoppy scent okay Get this barbershoppy, fruity, fresh, okay? And again, in the air, you know what I'm talking about. You got that spice bomb working on. <sighs> Man, this is kind of citrusy and creamy. Again, I think that vanilla is starting to creep through. It's kind of giving it this citrusy, creamy a vibe, which is very nice. Man, if you guys, again, if you like Spice Bomb, okay, maybe you just don't have Spice Bomb. Maybe you've smelled it before. Maybe you just don't have the money. You know, Spice Bomb, again, a lot of these fragrances, they're being reformulated. Uh, and then some people are saying uh, certain batch codes aren't working right. They're, they're, they're not loud. They're not projecting anymore. They're not as, as strong as they used to be. Man, you guys. This thing is filling up this room nicely. And every time I keep coming in, I'm getting that nice whiff, whiff of that spice bomb. Again, I haven't smelled spice bomb or, you know, any kind of clone close to spice bomb in a long time. And man, man, this is doing it. And again, you get close to the skin that you smell that citrus, you smell that lavender, you smell that nice spice that's there from the vanilla, kind of giving it this creaminess, okay? And then you get in the air, 
and all you smell is what Spice Bomb is known for. Again, a lot of times when you smell Spice Bomb on the skin, again, it's way different than what people are smelling in the air, okay? Again, not everyone, okay? Let's say you walk past someone. They're not going to smell this portion, okay? They're going to smell that stuff in the air, okay? So they're not going to be able to pinpoint grapefruits and pink peppers and all that and leather and vanilla and stuff. They might pinpoint. And honestly, when people are smelling it, who's going to actually ask you, ooh, who's wearing the, the vetiver scent? Who's wearing all? No, they're just going to say, who's wearing that sexy fragrance? Who's wearing that thing that smells so good, okay? No one's going to ask you all these questions. So, again, you can go here, get all the notes, okay? Again, you're going to get that pink pepper, that grapefruit. Again, it's citrusy, kind of spicy, fruity. Got this little bit of powderiness going. That vanilla is kind of smoothing everything all out. I like it. I like it. Man, it, again, I like it to say this is, to me, again, I like it because I like Spice Bomb. I like the original Spice Bomb. Yes, it's probably a little outdated, like I've been saying numerous times in this video, but there's just something about Spice Bomb. Again, there's almost something about, like, Sauvage as well. Anytime I smell Sauvage on someone else, you know, I smell it, you know, I, I get a bottle and I smell it and it's like, okay, I've smelled this before. But anytime someone else wears it, it's just like, man, they just smell good. Sauvage just does the trick. Sauvage Elixir, another one that does the trick. The other day, this guy got in my car and... Man, as soon as he got in the car, I was like, man, you got that elixir, don't you? He was like, yep, you knew it. And, man, there's just something about certain scents that just do it. And, honestly, this is one that's going to do it, okay? If you like that Spice Bomb DNA, okay? Again, I I don't know what the hell the Spice Bomb uh, notes are, okay? I know it does have the tobacco. I know it has the cinnamon, the saffron. That's where it gets the spices. That's why it's called Spice. But this one has the vetiver as well. It's got the pink pepper. It's got the grapefruit. It's got the citrus. It's got all that. Lavender as well. So, with that being said, you know what I'm going to do. This is definitely a great one. Fall, winter, you got something to bust through that cold. Man, it's not even that cold right now in the Midwest. So, uh, you know, definitely going to have to rock this. Maybe sometime at the end of February, we'll get a nice, really cold day. But there it is again. That is that North Stag again. Extract de Parfum. Hewitt, the eight. Hope you guys enjoyed that video, and if you guys did, hit the likes, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Peace. <clears throat>